G'day everybody, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so today we're gonna to do um, a step in the gluing together of um, some of the, the uh, components for the open baffle Linkwitz uh, Panzerholt sandwich aluminium setup that we're doing. So this is a Panzerholt base that um, that you can see is doweled. Well, we, we've we've placed the dowels in here. So there's there's you know there's four dowels that go in into here, and uh, they correspond with the uh, the back of this unit here, where we have the four sort of doweling positions here and here. So you can see those. Um, there and there, so that's that's the, the the baffle, and we're going to marry the base unit, uh, this this unit here, up with the baffle, and we're going to glue that down. Then we'll I'll show you all of that. We'll protect all the surfaces and clamp them down, and let all this uh, this uh, urethane that I'm using go off. Then what we'll be doing is with uh, with the the, the tweeter baffle plates. We have two dowels in there, as you can see, and they will be going into uh, the correct positions here on the on the baffle here. So I'll glue those down as well today, and uh, I'll show you how all that takes place and how I put it all together so that you can see when we build a set of these up from scratch, this is the sort of thing we have to do. So uh, you're going to be along for the ride. You're going to see it all as it all happens. Uh, but this is uh, the phase one of the building up of um, this baffle. So hang around. Uh, I'll be back in a second with uh, some putting some glue on for you. Okay, so here we go. I have um, some Sikaflex construction adhesive here. Uh, this is really, really strong stuff and, and works beautifully. So I'll, I'll show you what will happen here. Just a thin smear of this around the edges here, like so. We'll just follow this around like so. As you can see, whoops. Less is more in these instances. So I'll just run what we need to around here. It's pretty stiff stuff, this stuff. Okay, so that is the baffle done. The next thing we will do is I've placed the dowels in, in, in their position. Here is the top plate. So we just put this down here into position, like so. And, and of course it locks in on the dowels. It can't move and essentially we have a nice, a nice seal there on the, on on that one, which is uh, I will clamp these down in a minute, but I'll just show you the process of how we do that, and then of course we'll turn this over. Oops. Place it down, and as you can see, well, now we have a blanked off hole for the for the back of the front tweeter, and now we'll do the reverse here because we have. This, the, the, the other backing plate, and I'll, which will sit in here like so. And again, it'll block the back of the rear facing one and we'll have the tweeter in position here. So essentially that's what we're doing. So I'll get hold of the glue again. And we will run some glue along here. Just 
following the lines around. You know, because all the tolerances here are very, very tight, um, we don't want excessive glue here to the point where we have um, anything oozing out. It's just a matter of getting a nice thin smear, controlling the material as it comes out of the gun so that we get exactly what we need here and essentially no more than that. So the dowels are here in place on, the, on this one. So we line the hole up and essentially everything sits in the dowels correctly and we have that one in place. So that is, that is the, the first two uh, baffle plates in position. I'll now clamp this up and uh, show you that process in a second. Okay, so here we go. We're just hanging the uh, baffle off the side of the, uh, the table here. I've got a microfiber cloth, like so. Just folding it into, a, into a something that's manageable. We want to clamp it here and clamp it under there. So I'll get hold of a uh, trusty clamp now. And we'll just place that, essentially protecting both the surfaces fairly centrally there. And then we'll do the... Actually, we need to back this off a bit. Slide down a bit more. Make sure that we're definitely all protected underneath here. We've got uh, surfaces that we can't, unfortunately, mark in any way, shape or form. So we just want something that's firm but not overly tight. And that way we've got a nice clamp there. And then essentially I, I have microfiber cloths again, which again I'll place on the side here so that we're protecting both sides. I'll get a clamp under there, make sure that we catch the material that we want to tighten up onto and then we'll do that one up and get a nice tight fit on that one and then one more on the other side over here same thing applies again we'll just put a microfiber cloth there we want to catch it somewhere where we know we've got good good position so there to there sounds looks pretty good so slide it under get a nice grab and then just give it a little little light nip up there nothing over the, over the top and then there we go we've got we're clamped on both sides here of the of the material and we just sit there now and let that go off for a day or so um, but I'll do the uh, the base next and you'll see that um, following this one okay on this one now we're going to put some some glue on the on the back of the Panzerholt base. The dowels are in place here. So I'll just um, run run a smear of glue along here accordingly. So I'm just staying away from the, the edge. Just push some, some of that excess back in, inside here. Um, a little piece through here. Okay, so there's our there's our material. What I might do is just push a little bit of this inside here as best I can just so that we're not we're going in with the material not not outward if we've got any excessive build up here we'd rather have it on the inside not the not the outside so just by using the tip of the of the material we've got a nice thin even smear and then once we've got that there and we we know where our position is we just line our hole up here and the dowels will find their location. There's the first one, there's the second one. 
And there we go. We are in place there, as you can see. Our hole lines up through there. And uh, I'll now get to clamp that one down. And then um, you'll see that take place. And then we're in a position where we just let this go for a couple of days now. Let it go off. And then uh, we move on to the next stage of this. Okay, everybody, here we go. So as you can see, I did this off camera, but essentially what we've got is we've got, um, you know, a uh, we've got the clamp under here protected. We've got um, the clamp through the main part of the body here, as you can see, and everything's protected there. And then, of course, up this end, we've got um, all of the underneath of the of the of the baffle protected and some and clamping all over where we need it so essentially that's that's it it looks a bit messy like that at the moment but it'll sit like that for a few days and uh and go off and then we'll move on to the next phase of this construction